For the second part of today's lesson, we will extend our understanding of multiplying fractions by whole numbers and converting improper fractions into mixed numbers. This is a continuation from today's math message story. The story says, one lap around the outdoor track at Lucas's school is 5 eighths mile. How far would Lucas walk if he did three laps around the outdoor track? Remember, in the math message, they were talking about the indoor track at his school. Now they're talking about the one that's outside. And this track is much larger than the one that was inside, it sounds like. So the question they ask, how far would Lucas walk if he did three laps around the outdoor track? We're talking three laps at five-eighths of a mile for each lap. The next question says, how many groups of five-eighths are there? How do you write that as a multiplication equation? Then, how do you write that as a mixed number? All right, so let's break it down. How many groups of five-eighths are we talking about here? To find out, how far Lucas will walk if he does three laps, we're talking about three groups of five-eighths, or five-eighths three times. So how would you write that as a multiplication equation? Well, I would think three laps times five-eighths of a mile for each lap would equal our total distance which we are reporting in miles, so I'm just going to say M. So I would like you to pause your video now and solve that equation for me. 3 times 5 eighths. Once you have the answer, turn the video back on. If you were solving 3 times 5 eighths, you probably put the 3 over 1, multiplied the numerators, then multiplied the denominators. Oops, not 18, just 8. Let me fix that. So now we have that he walked 15 eighths miles. Well, 15 eighths is an improper fraction. So how do we write 15 eighths as a mixed number. If you're not sure, ask yourself, how many times does 8 go into 15? Well, 1 8 is 8, and 2 8 is 16, and that's more than 15. So 8 can only go into 15 one time. So I'm going to write down here, 15 8 is the same as 1 whole, and then how many left over? Or, what's the difference between 8 and 15? So, 8 can go into 15 one time with 7 left over. And the denominator stays 8. So, if someone asked you, how far did Lucas walk if he walked around that outdoor track three times and each lap was 5 eighths of a mile? You could say he walked a total of 1 and 7 eighths miles. So that distance is more than one mile, but less than two miles. If it was one-eighth of a mile more, it would be a total of two miles. Now let's just do some simple multiplying. How would you solve this problem? The easiest thing to do when multiplying a whole number by a fraction is to put the whole number over one multiply the numerators, so 3 times 4 equals 12, and 1 times 5 equals 5. And since that is an improper fraction, you turn it into a mixed number. So you ask yourself, how many 5's can you get out of 12? Or how many times does 5 go into 12? And that would be 2 times, because 2 5's is 10. And then that means you would have 2 left over with 5 as your denominator. So 3 times 4 fifths is 2 and 2 fifths. The next one you're going to do, and then we'll check. 
So on your paper, I would like you to solve 5 times 7 twelfths. Pause your video now, solve it, make sure if your answer is an improper fraction, you change it to a mixed number, and then turn your video back on to check your work. For this problem, I would have put my 5 over the 1, multiplied my numerators, so 5 times 7 is 35, multiplied my denominators, 1 times 12 is 12. So again, we have an improper fraction. Then you have to ask yourself, how many times does 12 go into 35? Well, 1 12 is 12, 2 12 is 24, and 3 12 would be 36, and that's too much. So we know the answer for how many times does 12 go into 35, that's two. Two 12s is 24. So the difference between 24 and 35 is 11 left over with a denominator of 12. So five times seven 12s is two and 11 12s. If you got that as your answer, good for you. That one was kind of hard. Well, let's try at least one more. <clears throat> Here's one that is similar to one that we did in the um, math message part of the lesson, where we have a whole number times a mixed number. Let's do this one together, at least part of it. It's hard to take a whole number times a mixed number, so I'm going to suggest making that mixed number into an improper fraction. So you have to ask yourself or think about making a circle. That's supposed to be an arrow. 3 times 1, so you multiply on the bottom. 3 times 1 is 1. Then you keep going around your circle and you add on the numerator. So three times one, sorry, is three. Then you add on that numerator and make it four. So your answer would be four thirds. So one third is the same as four thirds. You take three times your whole number, then that answer, add on your numerator. So the one and one third as a mixed number is four thirds. Then you can multiply it times your whole number. Put it over one, multiply at the top, multiply at the bottom. We have an improper fraction. I want you to pause your video now and see if you can convert that improper fraction into a mixed number all by yourself. Remember, ask yourself, how many times does 3 go into 16? Then how many are left over? Once you have your answer converted into a mixed number, turn your video back on to check your work. When converting this answer, you should have said 3 goes into 16 five times because three times five is 15. Then you would have one left over and three stays the denominator. So four times one and one third equals five and one third. Now let's move 